Hi everyone, it's been a while since I've uh, posted a video. Um, I'm fine, there's no uh, problems in my life or anything like that. Just had a bit of a change in things. I was out of the country for six months and I'll be leaving again out of the country for another six months uh, to do some volunteer work in South Africa. Anyways, uh, here is a small experiment that I've uh, been interested in, in doing and it has to do with these particular kind of toroids uh, which this is uh, called a fine met toroid and its uh, structure is a, it's a, a tape wound uh, toroid that is uh, nano crystalline so um, what it is that is interesting me is the, a particular YouTube user uh, about a, over a year ago has uh, had posted a video and it showed that this particular toroid uh, with a coil on it would actually increase in inductance when you approach a magnet when a, or a magnet is approached to it. So I have wound a coil around it here and I've inserted a, a, basically a pen in there which fits neatly and I'll insert a magnet there but not all the way the magnets only gonna go up to uh, here so uh, I have my inductance meter here uh, set up and if I power that inductor <coughs> meter on which is now attached to the leads of this uh, coil we're getting about 7.8 uh, millihenries uh, of inductance on that very small coil that's there. So now here what I have is just a small neo magnet here. I don't know what the strength of it is. Anyways it's about a quarter inch uh, cylinder magnet, quarter inch by quarter inch. And uh, I'm just magnetically attached to this piece here so I can handle it. And I'm going to insert it uh, this way here like that and you can see the difference in the inductance meter. So uh, here we go. Uh, there's the inductance meter. Okay, I'm taking the magnet away. As soon as the magnet approaches it, it changes things. So here I am inserting it fully into the uh, tube there. And that's at its optimum position for best uh, inductance, which ends up being about the length of the magnet, but just before it goes inside uh, past the front here side of the uh, toroid. So there you see the, induct the inductance goes up uh, more than three times the value and that's what's uh, intriguing and interesting. So uh, a user uh, has mentioned to me that I should also see what happens when I pulse uh, that uh, toroid or that coil and see if you know it's if it's just a some kind of effect that's happening with the inductance meter or what. So what I have here is uh, my 555 timer here which I've got pulse width uh, adjustments and frequency and all that and I've got it set to a very very small uh, pulse because it's a very very small uh, coil so the pulse width will be very small and what I'll do is uh, I've got my meters here. We're going to be pulsing uh, this 12 volt battery here, which is at 12.62 uh, volts there. And this is going to be measuring the current. And we're at the finest uh, scale at this time on the 200 millivolt scale. So it'll be displaying uh, microamps basically that the circuit is going to be uh, uh, consuming here. Um, this battery here is just to feed the 12 volt for the operation of the 555 circuit here. So let me just pause this, I'll reconnect it so we can pa uh, look at uh, this and we'll look at the scope shot too, which I'll also post on the forum. Uh, so hang on there please. Okay, so the uh, toroid is now connected and we are pulsing a very small uh, uh, pulse like I said in there the minimum this 555 circuit can do which is probably around 2% duty cycle and uh, the frequency is about 10 kilohertz uh, that we are uh, pulsing this at and right now the uh, consumption is uh, 230 uh, microamps uh, of current uh, the way it is now and without inserting the magnet here 
And when we insert the magnet, I'll do that here, the current drops down to 0.8, uh, uh, that's about 80 microamps right there. So 80 microamps uh, with the magnet in there and uh, 230 microamps with the magnet out. So this is what the, i um, sorry about the quality here of the uh, scope. Uh, there's too much uh, light right now in the uh, place that I'm working in. And believe it or not, I'm working uh, in my sailboat here. This is uh, my sailboat and that's my home that I'm living in at this time. And if you see out there, there's other boats out there. Um, so anyways, I've got too much light happening here, so you'll have to look at the uh, public forum where I'll post a scope shot of this, which I'll capture, and you can see it. So here you see the pulse uh, being turned on, and that's the duration, and here's the collapsing uh, field here with the flyback, and that's without the magnet uh, inserted. So now I'm going to go ahead and insert the magnet and look at the, uh, the uh, form. Now the magnet is fully in. So we can see that there is a change in uh, behavior which is most likely caused by the inductance and the inductance being much more and uh, I believe, uh, I'm not an expert at this, I'll let the experts uh, figure this one out. So there it is with the uh, magnet inserted and I just took the magnet out there now. So sorry for the quality again uh, there's the magnet back in there again and there's just there you see the uh, current being used and then the magnet out current is back up so there is definitely a change in behavior I don't think it's a drop in inductance um, I think seems to point more that what the inductance uh, meter here is showing there is a, a boost and increase so I think this is an interesting um, effect and I think it could pros possibly be used uh, in uh, some kind of configuration and uh, that's about it um, I'll post other things as, uh, as I uh, have uh, but I, I can only do, you know, really small stuff at this time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.